and maybe CNBC, maybe they're just as scared and cowardly as I believe them to be. But in either case, we find out today after calling Keith, not once he spent a half hour with him. Then they called him back a second time. Wow. And we find out today they declined to air the piece. Wow. They did tweet it out. We do sell silver off our website to the retail investors, but it takes us an enormous amount of time to actually convert uh, silver from the mine into retail products. The mints just don't have the capacity. It takes between six to 10 months for us to turn around metal into a retail product. I got a message today. Apparently, CNBC, the true cowards that they are, and there's no excuse for CNBC not knowing about this. I've been talking to one of the reporters for either two or three years now, had all the information for the big silver short. I contacted them several times about saying, Jeff Curry of Goldman Sachs, he committed a felony, multiple felonies on your channel. Here's the evidence. I've submitted it to the CFTC. I've submitted it to a whole bunch of other places. She even confirmed my boss looked at it they were wondering, and wondered if you had heard back from the CFTC. I was a little stunned when they said yeah. that. So they knew about the crime. And I asked to talk to this guy still. So just for the record, and this will be settled because this is what I do in my spare time. We're taking care of this stuff and I'm, you know, I know some people think sometimes I get a little frosty or angry, but this is my therapy. So things like Jamie Dimon, who gets paid a $34 million bonus off of dirty money. Now I, I've been organizing my plans because now we have specific asset pools that uh, any judge with integrity can freeze. So now we're, 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 we're redirecting the chi for the wind at our sails. And maybe CNBC, maybe they're just as scared and cowardly as I believe them to be. But in either case, we find out today, after calling Keith, not once, he spent a half hour with him. Then they called him back a second time. Wow. And we find out today, they declined to air the piece. Wow. They did tweet it out. So this is CNBC on February 10th. The <sighs> financial experts that they are the true criminals that they are which i've been documented we'll leave that for another day but just people watching at home if there's someone driving around in a truck or up in canada or elsewhere around people with trucks maybe there's a speaker and someone's putting this on a speaker so that other people who are already seeing the depravity of some of what's going on want to know the truth about how their money is being stolen because it's done in a very disgustingly deceptive way that most people unless you spend all day studying it can't grasp but just like uh you know a lot of things are avoided the cnbc declined to put it on the channel but fortunately silverman tracked it down for the arcadians and my man alex alex now that i've talked about it for a half hour <laughs> would you like to hear the clip i would love to i i had no idea like uh yeah i know i'd search for the clip online and uh that's that's interesting that's, that's why people wow. that's why yeah. real investors subscribe to arcade economics and hit the notification bell and uh turn cnbc off because yeah. my man chris takes the pain for them but here we go, go. i listen to all this crap just so you guys could hear here's here's, here's their coverage of silver Last year around this time, the price of silver futures surged 8% in just a day, touching an eight-year high on February 1st, 2021. The pop believed to be driven by online retail traders who were trying to squeeze the market. And this year, the physical silver market... These online retail traders are trying to squeeze the market. That Jeff Curry and his friends were so scared of that they, uh, after they were done lying on this same CNBC, they actually changed the SLV prospectus specifically to protect them against the squeeze. So there's a little there's a little fear there that CNBC is not astute enough to pick up on, but I'm all yeah. over it and I'm just getting started. Squeeze the market. And this year, the physical silver market is expected to post another deficit only to be made worse in the coming years because of increased demand from industrials and clean technology. <laughs> enough Alex, I'm sorry. I started my mind drift and I must not have been paying attention. Maybe we can recap that and you could. Did, did I hear that correct? The physical silver market is expected to post another deficit wow. only to be made worse in the coming years because of increased demand from industrials. Yeah, this and is, uh... so we, we did hear, she did say that there's a deficit already. It's going to yeah. be made worse. And the price of silver is falling through this. I did hear that correctly. hundred percent. No. Okay. I she said. Technology like electronics to EVs. 
If silver futures continue past this key technical level of 24 bucks an ounce, miners like Pan American and others could follow suit, all while supply is expected to... Now, she did not address whether Melvin Capital will be involved in the put side of the yeah. trading of these stocks. So we'll leave that aside for now. We do sell silver off our website to the retail investors, but it takes us an enormous amount of time to actually convert uh, silver from the mine into retail products. The mints just don't have the capacity. It takes between six to 10 months for us to turn around metal into a retail product. But can we expect First of all, let us notate Keith Newmeyer was on. Yeah, he made it. He made it. They oh. were so scared of the truth, oh. those fraudulent traders that they are, that they tried to ax it even after wasting his time twice. Although I'll, That's I'll take care of that for Keith. I'll help him with that if he wants to be reimbursed. Well, amazingly enough, that actually is how it happened. Some of you heard me say uh, two weeks ago that there was some CNBC news. I wondered if they were actually going to air it. I didn't want to interfere with that process. I was just hoping that somehow I would be able to see the clip. Unfortunately, I was, and we'll, we'll hear more about that. But fortunately, there's a lot more going on. And if you're wondering, there's some other issues that the silver supply is running into, especially with this trucker convoy now rounding up, finishing up week two with no end in sight. Well, fortunately, the answers to that and a whole lot more is coming your way right now.